glory, glory to the King of Kings and greetings to all. I welcome you to this uh, moment of inspiration. This is Apostle Robinson from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm glad to be part of what God is doing. And uh, I want to thank God for all the listeners that are getting connected all over the world on this uh, wonderful, beautiful uh, radio that uh, brings to us a compromised message and edifying the body of Christ uh, in these last days. It is my privilege to bring to us the word of God. And I know that your life, my life, will never be the same again. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. Thank you, Lord, as I share your word. I pray for your power. I pray for the simplicity. And I pray for your anointing to touch everybody that under my voice. In Jesus' name I pray. Shout hallelujah, those that are connected. Hallelujah. I want to bring to us this message um, because I believe that from January up to now, God has been so faithful. And I know that we have gone through a lot of issues in life that we really need, you know, God to really work out, you know, so, so speedily a lot of things in our lives. And so I just want to bring this message to us. And uh, the topic of today is encouraging yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Encouraging yourself in the Lord. We are living in the in the in the hard times. We are living in, in hard times of a lot of discouragement. We are leading, leading, living in the hard times of a lot of discouragement, a lot of disappointments. And you know, we're living, you know, in, in the times whereby sometimes you wake up and you really don't know what is going to happen next but i came to let somebody know that in such kind of a time in such kind of a season you just have to encourage yourself in the lord why because the reason why we have to encourage ourselves in the lord it is because all the disappointments and all the afflictions, the things that you're going through, they must come to pass, they must come to an end because God has a way of working out issues in our lives. Glory to God. But I want somebody to know, but this too shall pass as we move ahead in God's grace. Whatever you're going through today is a child of God. I wanted to know that all these must pass because we are moving ahead in the grace of God. When going get when going gets tough, where do you get your turning point? That is a question I'm asking in this sharing today. When going gets tough in your life, when going gets tough in the family, when going gets tough in the in the nation, when going gets tough in the economy, when going gets tough in the ministry, when going gets tough in the relationship, when going gets tough in your academics, when going gets tough in the business, what? do you do when going gets tough in your life? Oh, glory to God. What do you do when going gets tough? Where do you get your turning point? Listen to me, child of God. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter number 1, verse number 3 and 4, praise be to to the, to, to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles. Glory to God, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort with ourselves received from God. Glory to God. If you have to improve, my brother and my sister, from where you are, and from where you are and learn how to and you must learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord glory to God by speaking God's word in your life glory to God the Bible says the Bible says praise be to God and our father the father of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of compassion I want to encourage somebody that our God is a God of compassion our God is a God of comfort 
Our God is a God that sees whatever you're going through. May people may not see what you're going through. The people that you fought that are the ones that will encourage you. They have turned their, their back against you. They have turned, you know, they, they cannot speak. They cannot do anything. They, you, you, you are in a situation of giving up. You are in a situation whereby you don't know what to do. I come to let somebody know that we have a God who is compassionate. We have a God who sees your trouble. He comes to comfort us in all our troubles. Why? Because so that we can comfort even others that are going through the same problems. Glory to God. And so are you going through a situation right now? I came by as the voice of God to encourage you, to let you know that it is time to encourage yourself in the Lord, in the name of Jesus. If you have been in, 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 you know, in a place and you don't know what to do, God is saying to you right now, encourage yourself in the Lord. Speak the word of God in your life. Glory to God. Speak the word of God in that situation as you encourage yourself in the Lord. Don't just keep quiet. Speak the word of God in that situation, my brother and my sister, because the word of God has the power, has the capacity to change everything in your life. Glory to God. Have you ever been, uh, have you ever been between a rock and and in a place have you ever been between a rock have you ever been in a place you don't know exactly what to do have you ever been in a in a situation where it's you know it is it seems as if you are not wanted have you ever been in a place it seems as if you're not wanted you ask me preacher man what are you talking about and i'll tell you that uh, there is a man in the bible i know his name is dev David. David was in a situation like that. Have you ever been in a place you feel you're not wanted? Are you in a marriage you feel that you're not wanted in that marriage? Are you in a business you feel that you're not wanted in that business? Are you in a relationship you feel that you're not wanted in that relationship? Are you in a place in the community? Are you in leadership you feel that you're not wanted even in that leadership? I came to encourage somebody because David was in such a situation. And David was in a situation like that. But he, the Bible says, but God, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. Glory to God. Who am I talking to right now? Because one of the things I have, you know, I've discovered in my walk with God is that, you know, if, if, if is that when you encourage yourself in the Lord, that is where you get the strength. And one of the things I have, I have discovered is that if other people don't know you, your worth and the value that you're carrying, listen to me and get this point very well. If other people don't know your value, if other people have not discovered that, that there is value in you, they don't know your worth, they don't know the value, the devil understands your worth and value. Glory to God, somebody. The devil understands your worth, the devil understands the devil understands the value that you're carrying, the devil understands your worth and value. He is now, listen to me, child of God. The enemy, Satan, I don't know how you call the spirit, Satan, demon. He he, you know, he is in, in, interested. The devil is interested in destroying you before he can use you. Before glory to God. That is why you hear people say, "Oh my goodness, I was a great singer, and I used to sing long time ago. I used to preach powerfully. I used I used to lead prayers. What happened? Listen to me. The devil is interested in destroying you before he can use you. Before the devil." can take you to the club he needs to he is, is he's interested in destroying you before he can take you to be a prostitute he's interested to, to to destroy you he knows you're a prayerful person he takes you from the altar of god and he takes you to, to you know to 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 to, to, to some nasty things so that you may not concentrate on the on the voice so that you may not on the concentrate on the calling that god has given unto you and so the 
devil takes people from the from the altar of God and he takes he twists their mind that whatever they're listening from the house of God whatever they're listening even from this preaching right now it is not the right context it's not the right thing that they're supposed to to listen to and so they get some other stuff and they get confused and the moment you're confused the enemy takes an advantage of your life who am I talking to right now because the devil has been looking he's so much interested in destroying you before he can use you a lot of people are being used by the enemy they're being used by the devil not because they want to be used by the devil but because the devil is interested in destroying them. They are first of all destroyed because before he can use them. I pray today in the name of Jesus that as you listen to the vo to this voice today as far as my voice can go, I want you to know that God has a better plan in your life. You should never allow the enemy to destroy you before he can use you because the enemy can use anything. The devil can use anybody to come into your life to, to mess up with you, to destroy the agenda of God. But I came to declare there is a saving grace. I came to encourage somebody. There is a saving grace that will that is coming upon somebody right now to save you from that calamity, to save you from that situation, for, to save you from that danger. In the name of Jesus, you will not be destroyed. You will not be destroyed. I came to declare with an apostolic grace, you will not be destroyed, child of God, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in First Thessalonians chapter number 5 and verse number, uh, verse number 11, the Bible says, says, therefore I encourage glory to God. Therefore encourage. In other words, therefore admonish, admonish, admonish one another. Glory to God. Therefore encourage one another. Therefore edify, rather strengthen and build up one another. Glory to God. Just as you are doing. Glory to God. It is a continuation. Just as you're doing. That means God is calling us to a place of encouraging one another, to a place of encouraging one another, building up one another, glory to God, edifying one another, strengthening one another. Things are bad globally, but I came with a voice to encourage somebody that it is not time to give up. I came with a voice to encourage somebody it is not time to throw in the towel. I came to encourage somebody it is not time to say enough is enough. Listen to me, it can be enough, but I came to let somebody know that it is time to cry out to God. Don't just let it go because God has a purpose. God has a plan. I came to edify somebody. I came to build up somebody right now. I came to strengthen somebody. Your, your, your name shall be heard again. I came to strengthen somebody. Your testimony is coming again in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. The Bible says let us, as you are doing, it is a continuation. It is not something you do once, then you stop. I pray today that you get the revelation. Oh, glory to God, that you may encourage one another in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, as you are doing, then the verse does not say encourage one another if you if you like them. The Bible does not say encourage the preacher man if you like him. The Bible says, the Bible does not say encourage me if you like me. The Bible does not say if you go to the same church, that is when you can encourage your brother and sister. The Bible does not say so. The Bible does not say if you're working in the same department, that is when you can encourage your brother. No. The Bible does not say you encourage somebody based on their dress code. No. The Bible does not say glory to God. The Bible does not say that you encourage somebody because you know them from the time they were born. Glory to God. The Bible does does not say so. Oh, glory to God. The Bible that does not say when somebody is smiling, you know, at you is when you have to encourage this person. We are called to build one another. We are called to edify one another. Before the end of this year, I want somebody to edify somebody. I want you to know that God has a greater plan for your life. I pray as even as I come out of this place today, the spirit of encouraging one another. 
Let that spirit drop upon you. Let that spirit drop upon you. Encourage your family. Encourage your children. Encourage your wife. Encourage your, 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 your husband. Encourage your leaders. Encourage the people that God has brought into your life. Don't just let them go. Because God has put something in you that you can speak to the, the to that person. You are here to edify. You are here to, uh, to strengthen. You are here to build one another. It is my prayer in the name of Jesus. As you listen to this word, the glory of God will come upon your life. I pray that God has spoken to you. I pray that you are coming out of that place. I pray that those areas that you've been feeling that you're weak, you can't do anything. You'll begin to move in the power. The Bible says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So receive that strength right now. As, I, as I'm about to pray with you, I want you to open your heart and begin to understand that it is in the will of God for you to encourage one another. As I will come again, I'll be able to share with us on the part B. The part B of encouraging yourself in the Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord, I give you praise and give you glory. Thank you for all my listeners today. I pray that God Almighty, as far as my voice can go, let every child of God, let everyone that is listening to this voice, my God, my Father, on this great, on this great radio, let them, oh God Almighty, be encouraged in you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise, we give you glory in Jesus' name. Until we meet again next time, God bless you. God do good in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.